Hello, people. Welcome back to Fallout 4 <laughs> Adventures. Ooh. Survival mode. So again, um, I've made some progress. I'm level 11 now. And I actually figured out some very valuable information. You know, one of the problems I was having was with the whole cannibal perk and the dark cravings effect that comes with that. But what I learned is that dark cravings actually works like a an addiction. Cause with the problem with dark cravings is that if you're if you don't eat a if you don't eat human flesh for a certain amount of time, then your hunger instantly goes from well fed to ravenous. And ravenous just completely kills your stats and <laughs> turns you into a weak little bitch. And sometimes it's just not always convenient to be able to, be able to eat people, obviously. <laughs> um, but again, dark cravings is treated like an addiction in this game. So because of that, I was able to get rid of that simply by going to a doctor. You, you can also use a dick doll too, though. Now, I can still eat people. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I can still eat people, but... If I do, then that's going to bring back the dark craving. So essentially, essentially, I can use the cannibal perk if I'm in a desperate bind. Like if I'm desperate and I just need, need to heal, then I can start eating people. And then I can heal the dark cravings effect so later. So that was great news. So now I'm cured of my dark cravings. I can eat regular food again. Straight up drive by, well, walk by. <laughs> there we go. Hmm, strengthen. Okay. But yeah, that was that was great news because the problem was when you have dark cravings, regular food doesn't satisfy you anymore. So I couldn't eat regular food. I had to eat people. I had no choice but to eat people. <laughs> and that's just not always convenient in this game. And then on top of that, your followers, most followers are not going to like you doing that. But it's kind of cool that I have the perk. Because if I'm in a bind, I can go back to eating people and I can cure it when I need to as well. Oh, shit. And another good thing I learned was that you can use empty bottles to collect water. So... Now, while you'll see me picking up like beer bottles and empty liquor bottles and shit, that's because I found out that I can fill those with water and that's going to make the water issue a little bit better. Oh, apparently this place is dangerous, huh? But we got to get the good neighbor. Look at how I'm just sneaking through here. Massachusetts State House. State House. All right. I'm just going to check this out real quick. If it's too dangerous, then we'll get out of here. But yeah, th that was great news. The The whole thing with the, the cannibal perk and the water, because those were two of my biggest issues um, on the last episode. You know, I thought the I thought getting the cannibal perk was gonna be a hundred IQ, a hundred and fifty IQ play, but it really wasn't. That dark craving shit is terrible. But now that I know that it's treated like an addiction, and that I can get rid of it when I need to, by going to a doctor or using a dick doll, that changes everything. So I can use it when I need it, and then get rid of it. 
purified water, moldy food. Can I eat that? Well, I mean, eat that and it not be a problem. Whoa. How much stuff does Piper have? Gotta be conscientious of the space. Somebody was killing motherfuckers in here. Meyer lurks. Hopefully whatever is in here doesn't hear me. I need to get a silence weapon too. So maybe it was Meyer lurks that attacked here. I can eat the, oh yeah, I can eat the corpse. Gotta make sure I don't hit that button. I don't know how long it takes though to develop the dark craving. I wonder what that note says though. This is what I hate about this damn thing. If you're reading reading this message, then I'm probably dead and my plan didn't work. I've been taken by a group of raiders to the Massachusetts State House, forced to help them uncover the valuables of this building who would have thought knowing how to read would be what finally gets me. I think I can stay alive as long as I keep feeding them what they want to hear. Oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, I don't fly reading this bullshit. Let's just go. Okay, leather chest piece. Alright. I know I can't take everything, so I just try to grab stuff here and there. Oh, yeah. Another thing, too. I had a bit... I forgot to show you guys before I left Diamond City. Um, But... There was a mission where I had the opportunity to ambush this drug deal, right? And um, during the drug deal, basically, you see them making a deal, and then you can just run up and shoot them all. And so I killed them, and they had these boxes full of chems. So I found, like, 50 of, of like, all the, the, the common chems, like jet. I found 50 jet, 50 but What the fuck? 50 jet, 50 buff out, 50 psycho, 50 mentats. And um, that's why I got all that jet on me right now. Where is it? Right? I left most of it at the house. But yeah, that was a big come up. I found a lot of chems. So that was great. I forgot all about that mission. But yeah, I just ambushed them and took all their shit. I'm probably going to sell most of those chems. Um, but I'm waiting until I get the other perk for, uh, cap collector. Because, you know, cap collector raises the amount of money you get from buying and selling by 10% each level. Oh, fuck. And, Cause one thing I noticed is like the amount of money I get for buying and selling is bad. So one of the perks I got. Um, because I have leveled up a few times since the last episode. One of the perks I got was Cap Collector, which um, basically makes buying and selling a bit more lucrative. Come on, shit. Yes. Oh, boy. That was close. I still got hit? What hit me? Okay, whatever. Meyer lurk meat. You feel ill lethargy. I guess that's what I get for eating a random ass Meyer lurk. Yeah, that's on me.
<laughs> Piper got upset with me. Got it. You sure know your way around a bobby pin. She got upset with me um, a while ago because I was doing too much dirt, and she threatened to leave. To leave my uh, my party here, so I got to be on my best behavior around her, or she's gonna stop kicking it with me. Oh, let's back up. I got a plan. I want to get that that one blown the fuck up, but we need to kill that little one first. Okay, that should have got his attention. Okay, run, run, run. It, what? Was that another one? I think I hear another one behind me. Oh, shit. She got her ass kicked. I better be careful here. I hope they got a bed somewhere. Let's go back up top real quick. Make sure they don't have a bed just somewhere. Typewriter. I need to keep an eye out for empty bottles too. How many frag frags uh frag mines I have? Three, okay. I thought they would do a lot more damage, but I forgot you got to raise your explosive, your explosive damage. Like mine is maxed out in the other one. So when they step on my shit, legs gone. Soft shell miler. These the bitch ass ones, right? There we go. Give me that boy. Impact double barrel. You carrying too much. Great. Hey, this way. All right. So take. Damn, I got a bunch of Daryl double barrels. Uh, take these. She's gonna be over encumbered soon too. Exactly. Okay. If we see a a my alert king or something, we gotta get the hell up out of here for sure. I doubt this this area is going to be as straightforward as it is though, so far. Something's going to happen. Let's go to the right here. Hopefully, I can at least find a bed. There we go. You are parched from a lack of water. Of course. Why not? Let me get this pistol here. Desktop picture frame. Beer bottle. Okay, I got to remember. Get the bottles. Get the, Always get the bottles. Burnt book, beer bottle, beer bottle, beer. Yep. Should I pick up those overdue books? Like, should I even bother with that? I'll just grab one. I'll just take it. Probably put it up later. You can get like points from turn for turning them in. Um, but this is good here. This is a, a nice little save. Great. And so, let me see, noodle cup, and we are hydrated. I wonder if any of these areas were designed with survival mode in mind, as far as like the placement of the mattresses and things like that. Kind of like when you play a game like Dark Souls, and of course you have like these large areas that are very dangerous, and you can die anywhere, but of course, you know, maybe like a third of the way into it or a fourth of the way into it. And at different parts beyond that, you'll find a bonfire. And I'm thinking like maybe there's, there's I think Nuka, Nuka Cola bottles count too. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe like they made some of these areas with that in mind. Like if they're playing survival mode, you know, you got to kind of look at these buildings like dungeons and you got to give them little save little saves along the way you don't have to but you know make it a little bit more convenient I mean it's already difficult enough as it is
Oh shit, that one looks kind of vicious. That's a razor claw. I don't know if we can actually beat him. I'm gonna make a trail of fragments though. Make a trail. And then we're gonna just try to get away from him. All right, we gotta light him up first. Oh shit, I blew my arms up. <laughs> I was too close to the to the blast. I was too close to the blast. Uh stem pack purify water. Did he mutate? Oh shit, enhanced powerful submachine gun. Va very valuable. I'm sorry, Piper. <laughs> you held your own. Uh, well, I can't really say that, but <laughs> you were of us you you were of assistance to me. I'll put it like that. I blew my damn arms up. Where's the the last one though? I threw another Didn't I throw another one? I could have sworn I threw another. There we go. It can't be one behind us. Well, there it is anyway. All right, so that was good. Yeah, I knew, had a feeling there would be a, a dangerous enemy in here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it killed both of them. I forgot to spread. This is a good handgun too. What the fuck was that? Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. You know it ain't nothing but death down there. And they're letting you know too. What? All right, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna go. It, it's no way going down there is going to be to my benefit i feel like overcoming the legendary my alert that was my that was my moment that was that was my moment i'm satisfied call me a bitch fine but i'm not going down there i don't even see a way back up I mean, I know it's got to be a way back up. I'm just saying, like, they basically let you know, like, you jump down here, it's going to be problems. <laughs> you know. Tired from a lack of sleep. Well, let's go ahead and just get a full six hours in. Why don't we? You awake, still tired. Oh, I forgot. Yeah.
Yeah, you gotta have a you gotta sleep in a real bed to get the full benefits. I think that's a little stupid too. I'm not gonna complain about that too much, but I think that's a little stupid because when you look at how many settlements there are where people just just sleep on mattresses and in in sleeping beds, sleep, sleeping bags. <laughs> God. But yeah, there's there are so many people who sleep on mattresses and in sleeping bags. And like that's their whole way of life. <laughs> like go to Bunker Hill. And even the leader of Bunker Hill sleeps in a goddamn mattress. So I'm just like, okay, well it can't be that damn bad. Somebody would have built the bed if it was that bad. That's all I'm saying. I feel like having an experience like this where you have to kind of like refigure out your way of life and, and build things and stuff like that, it'll be very interesting. Dirty water added. There we go. See? Yeah, and I think, I'm not sure, I think all water counts as... <laughs> oh my god, well, I just say, I just say, so, yeah, uh, I did not see him, you know, normally I press the, the VAX button, Normally, I, I press the VAS button just so I can make sure I'm not stepping on goddamn landmines and stuff. Um, I probably was a little bit too comfortable, though, because there's a raider around. Wait a minute, there's a s Raiders in here? What the hell with the... How are there Raiders in here? I thought I... I know I didn't go to the bottom, but... It sounds like they're close by. Nothing there now. I think they're down here. Jumping shadows. Yeah, I hear. I hear a turret too. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Now don't start talking crazy. <laughs> Where are they at? I'm just going to go. The higher the happiness of your workshop settlements, the more productive their settlers. I usually can get my happiness up to like 70s and 80s, but never like beyond that. I don't know what it takes to. And, and like, I just, I try, I, I've tried to build everything I can. Defense, food, water. I don't know. But the beds, beds, making sure that they have real beds. Making sure that the beds are located where there's a roof. Because that counts too. They made it that way so you can't just dump a bunch of beds outside. <laughs> I mean, you can. You know, it still counts as a bed. But I think, like, it, it doesn't count for the full value, though. Because the people aren't going to be fully happy having a bed. Where they're going to get rained on at night. See, I would have seen it if I was just tapping the button like that. But I think I might have got a little bit too comfortable because of my other save. 
in my other save, my that character, uh, she can walk all over these things and not even worry about. It. I still do it though. Damn. That was kind of, that was kind of crazy. I thought, because I know I triggered the first one and I grabbed it. I didn't know you triggered the second one by triggering the first one. Because I didn't get, I mean, if you think about it, if I triggered the first one, well, no, I still had to get closer to pick it up. Okay. So I'm going to have to do a double grab there. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do a, a double grab to get both of them. Okay. I don't know where they are. The party boy and party girl perks remove the threat of alcohol addiction. They may also double the effects of alcohol and increase your luck. Yeah, I think alcohol is... For bills that prioritize strength and luck, basically. Luck is pretty cool. This game is, is so good, though. It, it really is. I'm glad I came back to play it. I finally finished it, too. I finished the story um, the other day. I got the railroad, the railroad ending, or rather, I sided it with the railroad. You know, I was kind of thinking, oh shit, I didn't mean to just drink it straight. Fuck, I guess it don't matter either way. But but um, I'm still drinking it. But I was thinking, you know, it might be better to side with the institute. Because at least if you side with the Institute, like you become the leader of the Institute and you can guide them in a better direction. But they were definitely some evil motherfuckers though. What I found out that I didn't know before was that, oh, that's why it's three. Like you're fucked, really. Hold up. Um. Yeah, they got it placed perfectly. Got him. <laughs> okay. But what I found out was that the Institute, they're actually responsible for the creation of the super mutants in this area. Like, they ran a spirit. They, they kidnapped people. Speaking of the devil. Speaking of the devil. Damn. Oh, I should have known that wasn't going to work. That was a terrible shot. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know if this will work. Um, let me see. I'm already addicted. Okay, so how should I do this? Hmm. Yeah. He limping, bitch. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah! Suck my dick. I hope Piper doesn't go down. Oh, 28 players. Okay. We still got to get the good neighbor, though. I like how I just I just threw the 
the frag mine at them like it was a grenade. <laughs> so that's why they're around here. I might need to go around. Are those gunners? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm not fucking with them. Not until I save. Boston Bugle Building. Let's check it out. First sign of danger, we get out of here. That one super mutant, I crippled his legs and he was just sitting there. I shot him in the fucking head. That was highly satisfying, if I do say so myself. Just lined it up too, said, bitch, suck my dick, boom. <laughs> oh boy, this game is fun. Oh shit, a Protectron. Shoot back! What you gonna do? She threw that at us! You stupid bitch! What was that? Maybe it was a headshot. What, what, wait, what's my last save? My last save? Oh my God. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> I just remembered. Piper was fucking useless, bro. But I already know that companions are just like pack mules for the most part. They not, they never been that good. Oh my god, bro. I'm way back here. Got killed by a Protectron. The reason why I wasn't more aggressive, though, was because I got a fucking shotgun, dude. It ain't got no damn range. Like, the shotgun is cool up close, obviously, but there's no range on this shit. So it just, it's... Like, I was trying to just... I was trying to just kind of wait and see like what I was going to do. But then I was trying to get Piper involved and fuck it, man. That shit was so bad. Killed by a Protectron. That's just terrible. It's hard getting a good neighbor. That much is, is obvious. It's hard getting over there. You got landmines, super mutants, and then just me making the mistake of going somewhere, anywhere. I'm lucky I got out of this building alive. Damn, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Shit. Damn, that was just so terrible, bro. Like, that was... I could have won that easily if I had a better gun, though. That's why I'm not fucking with the shotgun this time around. Like, it works in my other playthrough because it's not damn survival mode. But in survival mode, I think you definitely want to have range. Okay. And then there were super mutants right there. Maybe I can get the drop on these guys again. Okay. Who the fuck? She threw fucking Piper. Fuck. <laughs> That's fucking Piper, dude. Do not give your companions 
do not give your your companions bombs. That's one thing I, I have to learn. Do not give them stupid motherfuckers any sort of any sort of bomb because they don't know how to act with them damn things. She gonna throw. She throws at him right when I'm behind him. At least I got. At least I got those experience points back. Shut the fuck up, Piper. You on my shit list for real. Oh shit, I think they saw Piper. Well, good luck, Piper. I got the fuck up out of there. Hell no. Mm, what's this cool spot here? Good neighbors seem so far away, bro. All right, they go to gunners, but I I don't stand a chance. Not with no damn double barrel shotgun. The problem with the, the double barrel is that you have to get close to them, and that's not the name of the game when it comes to survival mode. It's really not. You want to be far away as often as you can be. That's why I'm definitely going for like a sniper, like a, a rifle and handgun build, as was advised. Being a melee build in this mode has to be very difficult. Is it even possible? I got to look that up. I would imagine you would need to like have stealth as well. Obviously, a stealth always helps. Alpha vicious mongrel. I could just run. I could just dash there. I'm on top of this building and I got to get down. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh shit. Oh fuck. I wish I had a grenade or something. I got some Molotovs. Oh God, if I had just had one grenade. Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm set down. Hey, something. Hey! They're here. Open fire. Then <laughs> they might start throwing Molotovs too. I bet I knew it! <laughs> I knew it. I was like, I ain't nobody just gonna sit there. I knew it. I was like, here come the Molotovs. Legendary enemy mutated. Shit. Fuck. No. Yes. <laughs> Get your ass up. Hopefully they come over here and get fucked up. Mutt fruit, purified water. Yeah, you do that.
Piper. Piper, come in. Piper, get right here. Man. I hope they use you. I, I like how they just incapacitated her and walked away. Not realistic at all. <laughs> I think we all know what they really would have done. You a stupid bitch. I put that on everything, Piper. You a stupid bitch. Stay right there. Get into position. Hey, shoot. Hold. Okay. I gotta treat her like a damn dog, bruh. Stay right there. Don't think. There's gotta be some more around here. Oh, fuck, legendary raider. I just want this one. That's all I wanted. I don't know if we'll beat that legendary one though. Maybe I could like lure him out. Show your face. Come on. How dare you? Hold on, let me put the uh frag mines out. Got him. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That might blow her up, but. This is a good little vantage position here. I'm gonna fuck around and get killed again. <laughs> Somebody definitely stepped on that, that landmine though. Which is absolutely based. Throw that out there. Got him. Okay, please come through. Follow me. Yes, yes, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah, now let's just wait it out. Oh boy, <laughs> that's excellent. And we got to level up. All right, let me just look and see what we got here. What should we do? What should we do? <laughs> Definitely not cannibal. Forty percent harder to detect while sneaking and no longer trigger enemy minds. Going for stealth right now might be good. Like, I already got two points in it, right? Like, that might be a good investment. It really might be. Um, Black Widow coming to my parlor. Yeah, that would be good. A general damage boost against males. Um... 
You take no radiation from eating or drinking. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just start the lead belly. Let's go ahead and get that going. I know it's not exactly useful right right now in this exact situation, but it'll pay off later. Because one thing I realized that eating is really the best way of healing in survival mode. Because either way, it's going to be slow. But as, if you're healing by eating and drinking, at least you're not making yourself parched with stem packs. Which is obviously a good thing. A turret. Chameleon. Enemies have a harder time detecting you while you're sneaking and not moving. Chameleon left arm. Let me see. <laughs> I might need to put that on. What do I have on? Um, metal left arm. So it's less defense, but. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell? So I can just basically turn invisible. <laughs> What? How much is this worth? 40? I, it's probably just not considered it to be that good because you got to stand completely still while it's engaged. To, I mean, to keep it active, but damn, that's pretty cool. I want to take that turret out, though. Okay. Nobody saw me. Haymarket Mall. Where is? Oh my God! I feel like we are no, we are nowhere close. It's still so far away. I'm not even going in there. We're staying focused on the mission. Let's get to good neighbor. A feral ghoul roamer. Hopefully, if I'm silent, I won't wake any of the ghouls up. Old corner bookstore. What the hell is that? Okay. Invisible mode. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Forty eight. Wasn't there a game where like money weighed or something? Like money had weight? Or am I tripping? I'm probably tripping. Oh boy. Oh shit, they had a suicider. Who was that? Was that a raider or a traitor or something? They got fucked up. That suicider just ran up and blew up on her. Dandy boy apples. Yo, we got to get the good neighbor, bro. Like, we made it so far. We got to get there, dude. No matter what. If I got to jet my way out of a problem, then that's what we're going to have to do. But I got to get there. We got to get there. 
I got the level up too. I'm taking him out. Punk bitch. All right, make sure you check for landmines, landmines, landmines. We checking for landmines. Am I going the right way? I feel like I keep having to change direction. Okay, so it is this way. Let me make sure I put, let me make sure I did put it, the marker up there. All right, so the marker is on Good Neighbor. It's hard to see with that chameleon shit. Okay. I feel like this is a spot where feral ghouls would just pop out. Or maybe I'm just paranoid, but this is. Oh, wait a minute. I see something. There we go. All right. This makes it a hell of a lot better. <laughs> so at least now we got a save in. So that's good. We got some empty bottles right here too. If I can fish them out of this damn grocery cart. Cram carrying too much shit um see what could i drop let me drop ooh, mm -hmm. damn that mining helmet is worth 51 what i got on i got a cowboy hat on don't i well i gotta go for style points so you know i'll drop this sack though the sack hood Okay. Let's keep going. I mean, this is just how you got to move in survival mode, bro. You got to be careful. Although, I do think I could probably stand to, like... Like, if I really ran into trouble. Oh, fuck. Of course. Fucking mole rats. Bullshit. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Critical. Damn. Still alive. Yeah, roll over, bitch. Oh, shit. I can't get there. A tight, I'm tired for a, a lack of sleep and I can't run. Fantastic. That's perfect. I mean, why not? Why not just fuck me over like this? At least I just saved. But I feel like they're basically like, we, we can't let him get the dot. We can't let him get the good neighbor. Like, they're just fucking with me now. This is just like, we're not gonna let him. <laughs> and then the dog comes. I knew it. Tired from a lack of fucking sleep, even though I just took an hour long nap. And then I sleep like six hours before I dipped out. Oh, but you can't get a, a full rest from a goddamn mattress, even though that's what everybody else does. It's whatever, though. We already know. Criminal wrongdoing is dealt with harshly. Ooh. Let's just get. I think you can only get three hours on a, a sleeping bag, though. Let's just go ahead and get to sleep and then wake up thirsty and or hungry. 
Yeah, I know. You awake, still tired. Hopefully, it's enough to just get there. I just want to get the fucking good neighbor, man. I just want to get to fucking good neighbor, bro. And it's like, I'm right on top of it. I'm just in the wrong spot. Fuck him up. Make him roll. Yeah, exactly. Make that bitch roll. Okay. Oh, shit. Let me uh jet up. This could be bad. Um, I hate how this menu looks when you're in chameleon mode, though. It's hard to see what the hell is going on. Parched. Oh, shit. Wrong gun, right? Fuck. Your aim is terrible. <laughs> and she still fucking killed me. Ah! Fuck, man. <laughs> One goddamn raider. I had jet and a shotgun, and I still couldn't kill that dumb bitch. That, it's, that fucking double barrel sucks, though, bro, because you got to reload every two shots. It's like boom, boom, and that's it. The shotgun I have in my other one has like 32 rounds. <laughs> that double barrel is ass though. That much I'm certain of. That double barrel is just flat out ass. I'm just not even going to care. We're we just going to try to get there. If I got to just run past a bitch, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just, I'm so done with this shit, bro. I'm so done with creeping and crawling everywhere. Oh, well, there's too many for that. <laughs> I thought it was just one. That was me being a dumbass. How much? Do I got ammo for this thing? Maybe I could just pull this shit out and light them the fuck up. Like, just jet up and... Oh, boy. Jet medics. Fuck. Okay, jet again. Dehydrated, I know. Um mud fruit. Dirty water. Noodle cup. Good chance of dying here. Bitch. Fuck, that's so weak. Fuck, man, that shit is so weak. <laughs> I shot her twice, point blank, with the shotgun. Oh my god, I cannot wait to get rid of that shit. If I had, if I just had handgun ammo, oh my lord, dude. I cannot wait to get rid of that shit. I hate that damn double barrel. It's so bad. <laughs> it's just boom, boom, and then you got to reload. Like, that's the that's the whole problem. While you're reloading, you're getting shot. I hate that fucking gun so much. And where the hell is Piper? <laughs> I hate that gun with a fucking passion. But I got one more trick up my sleeve. Because we do got that bottle cap mine. So if I can get this out.
and then let me see immediately follow up with this and a jet I should have been oh look nah I should have been did this get that damn jet right there yeah uh-huh Unfortunately, I think I killed the easier one. Oh, no, nah, I killed a grip of them. That shit blew them the fuck away. Damn. You know, I've pretty much never used machine guns my whole time playing this game even in my other playthrough where I'm like way into it I think that's good neighbor right there you are overtired from a lack of sleep okay Ah, <sighs> 10 pounds, huh? <laughs> just fuck it. It ain't either. It's not worth the trouble. We'll just drop what we got to drop. Just fine was not. Oh, yeah, I'll drop this devil barrel. Man, the day I can reliably put that down is going to be a great day indeed. How do I get to good neighbor? How the fuck do I even get to good neighbor? Like, I, I don't even get it. How the hell do I get to get to get to get get to good? How the fuck do I even get to good neighbor? And Piper just isn't here. Invisible. <laughs> it was nothing. Okay. If he see me, I'm a jet up and dip. All are welcome. I made it, the good neighbor. Made it. Piper must have died. <laughs> Piper must have died. But we made it. We made it, the good neighbor. God. And should I have even come here? Because it's, it's not like I can fast travel back to Diamond City. But I don't know. You never know what could happen. Something good could happen here. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor. You can't go walking around without any Lord shit. have mercy. I got to deal with this shit. You better back off. Or you're the one who's going to need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets. Or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accident. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You saw Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Breaking <laughs> my heart over here. You all right, sister? Oh boy, your face, you killed him. You killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. 
good neighbor. Is that what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. So long as you remember who's in charge. Hancock can actually become uh, a ally, a companion. I didn't know that until I looked it up. I went the whole game and missed out on like, I think two or three, maybe even four companions. Oh, it's Fahrenheit. Player and good neighbor. Hello, little pawn. Welcome to our fun and games. Hey, baby. <laughs> That's kind of why I wish I would have had a dude character, because then flirting would have been a bit more fun. But she looks cool. McDonald's is cool. Look at her. Yo, I, I ain't gonna lie. Though. I'm in love with this machine gun. This is my first time ever using a machine gun. I never used a machine gun before. This shit is cool. Damn. I feel like. If I invest in another weapon, it'll probably be the machine gun. I know that the sniper is preferred in this mode because of the stealth capabilities and the range and whatnot. But still, like that was just fun. Like just brrr, shoot them. Up. Like, that's that's cool. Okay, let's get to selling. Discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. I'll take a look. Sure. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Let's get right to it. All right, so. Damn, I don't have a lot. It, it felt like I picked up so much shit, but I really didn't. I know I had to drop some stuff, but. Damn. That's kind of crazy. Like, I don't have a damn thing. I got some junk. Why did it feel like I had so much shit? Like, I feel like I was... Oh, Piper has everything. I get... Yeah, I was picking stuff up, but Piper has it. And Piper is gone. Man, shit. Now I gotta take this food shit. Piper got all the stuff. <laughs> Don't worry. I only test the weapon. Man, if that ain't I'll some bullshit. I just remember I was offloading all my shit on the Piper the whole time. Oh my god, dude. That is just crazy. Take the pipe pistol. Take the roller. Let me get my nine gold. <laughs> Let me get my nine gold. How much for 73 bullets? Oh, great. All my money. Well, half my money. I was exaggerating there, okay. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, I just got to make do. Just gotta make do. Oh, I hate this damn gun so much, bro. Oh, I got sniper rifle ammo now. Okay. Well, at least we're doing better in that regard. I can't even steal the empty beer bottle. I can't take the empty beer bottle. And you're not even screaming yet. Well, it's all right. I've got a few minutes to browse. Remember, no returns exchange. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Let's just get to it. Let me see what you got. I don't know. I shouldn't spend all my money on bullets. I feel like I'm really back to square one. Like, I'm back in position where I need to go out and get into trouble. Was she following me upstairs? Oh, no. So I can rob. But before I start stealing, it's... You know, it's always best to say before you start trying to rob people in a game, in a game like this. Good stuff. I always did appreciate good investigative journalism. He's talking about Piper, but Piper is gone. Anyway, let's go to the hotel. 
I'm exhausted, thirsty, and all that shit. But we made it. We made it. That's cool. Please, I don't care. Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using, you can focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking? Doesn't she look like the the mayor of Chicago? Oh man, someone new. You need some jet, man. Home brewed, reasonable prices. Not looking to buy right now. Hey, no worries. Next time, huh? I think it's Chicago. It's, I forgot where. Maybe it's Chicago or maybe somewhere else. It's an old black lady. The room is on the top floor. When you come to the hallway, it's the last one on the right. I just clean up around here. You know what doesn't make any damn sense? The fact that you can you can rent a room for a day for ten caps, but one bowl of noodles will run you fifty two caps. <laughs> that don't make no damn sense. And you just yeah, I'm about to go on a robbing spree for real. I better be careful. Nuka Cola. I need all the food I can get. Bobby pins, Blanco and cheese. This guy don't keep a lot of shit in here too. Smart. <laughs> Real smart. Where's my room? Hopefully they didn't just put it way at the damn top for no reason. Excuse me. Oh shit. He's about to get shot. It, it, it's you. Sanctuary Hill, right? Oh yeah, that's the guy. Must have me mistaken for someone else. You're not fooling me. I sold you that space in the vault, remember? But then I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How's that possible? Hmm? Well, you kill enough people. Sooner or later, something's bound to make you immortal. Oh, oh, that's rich. Real funny. Just like that robot. He better back the fuck up before he gets shot the fuck up. I came to. That bucket of bolts was still there. Trimming those damned edges like nothing happened. Hey. Leave my robot out of this. You know, you're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I, oh God, I've been so alone here. No commonwealth settlement once a ghoul. Oh boy, <laughs> the sob story. All sex seals experience. <laughs> Go to sanctuary. You're not my problem. Now get out of my way. You know, I've been hearing that exact sentence from people for two centuries. Fine. I'm leaving. Go in your room and shut the fuck up. Alright. This my room? Oh no. Morowski. Uh, I think I'll leave him alone. If I had that Sandman ability, I could take him out. Lady Night Night. Okay. I'm just looking around, you know. I think, I uh, hope this is my room. Yep. Oh, they got a double bed, too, just in case I want to get some pussy. That's cool. All right, let's go to sleep. No, get your whole eight hours. Get your... I don't want to hear no shit tomorrow. All right, well rested. Dirty water, iguana on the stick. Am I thirsty at all? I am thirsty. Dirty water, steel parts, huh? And I don't think Nuka Cola counts. 
but now we're hydrated. I do have a jet addiction. Let me check my stats and see exactly what we're experiencing. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Agility minus one. Okay, that's not a big deal. Lethargy. Yeah, I think that's something I got to, I got to go to a doctor to fix. There's always some shit in this game. But we got a nice save. Um, now I'm about to look around and see what I can just take. I'm about to really be on my stealing shit and good neighbor because I need some money. I'm broke. Oh, what's this? Live and love. Permanently gain plus five experience while adventuring with a companion. Cool. Black guy. Let's go to the basement. Fred Allen's password. Okay. Steal that jet. We just gonna take whatever we can. If it ain't nailed down. <laughs> and you just you kinda have to, dude. In this mode, you just kinda got you gotta do what you gotta do. Like, it's just it's expensive living in this damn world now. Now that you gotta eat and drink every damn day and it's expensive on top of that. I'll check that terminal later. I don't want to get caught. <laughs> I don't want. Uh, could I be like a drug dealer? Now that I think about it, because you can make, you can make um, jet with just plastic and fertilizer. I could be a jet dealer if I play my cards right. They got mintash just laying on the table. I wonder what drug is considered to be like marijuana in this world. Maybe Mintax or, or Jet. I feel like Psycho is the is the main is like a crack though. Psycho is definitely like the crack, the meth. Jet is probably is probably like I don't know, it kinda it's, it's kinda methy too though. But if you think about it, it would really be more like like an opioid, right? Because it's slow down time. Or like lean, right? It'd be like lean. But I think it's a perception thing, too, because it's not that you're slowed down. I think it's really that you're going so fast, right? Yeah, like you're going so fast that everything else seems slow. It's some good stuff in there, too. I can break in those warehouses, but it's a lot of killers in there, too. It's a, it's a lot of killers in there, for sure. Damn, he hates the Institute too. I'd sure love to get McDonough stick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lot of hands. But stay focused. Now I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. Neighborhood watch. The way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not us. And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? My neighbor. Wow. Of good neighbor. Hancock. Of the people. For the people. Great. Hancock is pretty cool, though. He's a cool ghoul. 
Oh, I guess she's not in yet. <laughs> oh, I, oh, because I, I could have robbed the fuck. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living after all. I could have robbed the fuck out this bitch. <laughs> I was sitting there, man, just listening to this dumb speech. I could have robbed this bitch. All right, whatever. Lost my chance. I need to keep all plastic and fertilizer. Because then I could sell it later. But I ain't going to worry about that right now. We just, we just going to sell everything. Like, we, we too broke to be trying to run schemes and shit. We got to just get the money right now. <laughs> we got to just get the money. It's all about the money right now. Yeah, just get the money. Just get, it's all about the money right now. It's all about them Benjamins. Okay. Yeah. I was hoping that Piper would just magically show up again, but she hasn't. I want to try to rob one of those warehouses. You can get an official mission to unlock those, I mean, to kill, to kill those guys, but. <laughs> you hold on to that. I like that outfit. Um, see, is this where Bobby No Nose is at? Oh boy. I've my, I think I want to try to kill those guys, but I got to be careful. You know how it is. Anybody got a free matches I can sleep on? Damn. He runs this piece of business. Put back the dog. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, if I want to take a risk, I got to I got to go up here and save. But yeah, I'm about to take those guys out. I got to I got a bit of a plan. Damn. Sad. That dude just sit there and look at the wall all day. Okay. I thought you could pick those cones up. Dirty ass tray. Yeah. I mean, you got to take everything. You got to. You gotta take whatever you can. Whoa, Raider gear. Why does that bitch have Raider gear? I steal out of my, out of my own room if I could. <laughs> All right, let's go take those guys out. We can get some shit from them. Who? Your room is upstairs, top floor. Got you, I know. Man, imagine if rent was ten dollars. Well, ten dollars a day. Ten dollars a day would be what? You look just like Sammy too. Based it's three hundred dollars a month. It's not bad. Who think they can replace people with sin in this town? They've got another thing coming. What am I gonna tell his mother? Yeah, he had a synth component. And I, I took all his shit. How did they know he was a synth? Crazy. And they not playing. They really will kill you if you go back there. Um, how does my weight stay so high? I don't get it. Like, what do I... It must be the bullets or something. It must be something. God. All right. Whatever. Um, 
That's why you got to have a companion with you, bro. Um, Jet. Oh boy, they're reeling. There we go. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna be carrying too much. But we'll just slowly make our way over there. We got a good little come up though. Shit, I wonder how much submachine gun ammo I got. I need to actually like put that there. All right. Okay, look at that. Look at me. Look at me. Mm, somebody getting fucked up. But you can't carry all that. That's the thing, too. You can't carry all the ammo with you. Because ammo has weight in this. That's probably why I'm so heavy right now. But I'm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and sell that shotgun and just... Hope I never need, hope I never need it. You get hurt from being over encumbered. That is crazy. Fred Allen at the Hotel Rexville. He can hook you up with Tammy. Irma. Man, survival mode is such a struggle. Like every day, like everything is just a struggle, bro. Like I would take some buff out. I would, I could just take some buff out, yeah, but then I'm probably gonna get hooked on it. You feel better, but still parched. Dirty water, not enough. Okay. And now we're hydrated. Didn't I get that lead belly perk? Okay. Let's go. Let's shut up. Let's go. That looks like Deacon back there from the railroad. Um. All right, so I got three submachine guns I can sell you. A pipe pistol. A battered fedora. There you go. Gray suit, flannel. Got some Raider gear for you. Still not a lot. Instamage. Oh, that's worth. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. Yum, yum, deviled eggs. All right, junk. Pre war money. Sith component. Teacup. Shotgun shells. Thirty of them. I'm taking all your money. Okay, finally. <laughs> we got a little money there. But what can I get in return? Oh, she got some ten millimeter bullets. No, I think I already got all those. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a look. We have we got a little bit of a come up there. A little bit. Oh boy, I would, but that's too much money. That's just too much money. I have to get rid of some of this ammo though. What ammo do I have in the machine gun though? Let me sell the rest of this shotgun ammo and this double barrel. I'm I'm done. I'm done with the with the shotgun. Done with it. I'm just freaking done. Addict all. Um, might as well get the purified water. You know we're gonna need it. Rib <laughs> rib eye steak, squirrel in the stick. Yeah. I just got that money and I pretty much had to spend so much of it right there. All right, my weight isn't too bad anymore. Okay. Need a place to stay? Try Hotel Rex. All right. 
right, so we're looking okay. We're looking decent right now. I wish there was just something I could do to make some more room, though. Like, just some more space. Jesus. Only thing I can think of is the ammo. But I need, I need all I got. All right. But anyway, we had a nice little combo. That was a good episode. We'll, uh... We'll continue later. We made it a good neighbor. We lost Piper. <laughs> She's somewhere. Uh, but we'll see. Overall, though, it was a good ep. I feel like I belong in Good Neighbor. Like, it's so far, it's been somewhat lucrative for me. 